Welcome back. We are still up in the Pilbara region of Western Australia. Bit windy today, so we're heading for some mud crabs. So walking through the mangroves here. It's low tide at the moment. We're gonna walk up probably a K or something like that. And then that's pretty much when the tide stops and it will start to come in. So we'll walk back with the tide and try and find some mud crabs in some of these holes. We'll see how we go. Hopefully we can get some, because we want to cook some chili mud crab later on as well, which we'll be able to show you too. Oh. <laughs> So what we're looking for is holes underneath some mango roots. They, the crabs dig themselves in there and that's where they sort of live. And over here in this spot you can see there's a bit of black sand where a crab's obviously pulled some of that sand out of its little area. So that looks a little bit like that. I don't know if that's coming up on the um, camera or not, but we'll be able to stick our crab hook in and see if there's anything in there. Is it? There it is. He's all right. Oh, now it gets hard. Well done. We're on the boards. Very nice. thing that we're looking and feeling for when you've got the hook in there is a bit of noise you can feel the metal hook going across the crab and you know that there's one in there but sometimes it's also just a rock I don't think there's one in there it's a deep hole though yeah Nice. <laughs> right, so there's the big sound of the metal on the crab. Just have to get behind it. Is he any good? That's the question. Yeah. I don't pretend that I'm good at this. Feels like a big one. There's someone on the pine waiting to come on. Yeah. <laughs> Sub out, I'm useless. Jeez. The old back. Useless. Yeah. Yes. Woohoo. 
<laughs> He's huge. What a fight. All right, so that's our third one. I think that'll do us. We'll do the long walk back to the car, but good way to spend a morning when it's windy and we can't get out in the boat. A bit of chilli crab coming up. Two crabs have been sitting on ice for the last half an hour, so they've gone to sleep. It's the best way to kill them. I'm just gonna start with one. You need to take the shell off. You're taking the little bit of the back there. They're a big crab, so sometimes it's hard to get that shell off. But get the shell off. You can see all the gills and things there. We need to get rid of those and just clean everything out as much as possible. Tracking that into the ground, the tide will come in and wash that all away. So I'm going to snap this in half as well, which just makes it a little bit easier to manage. So we'll rip that in half, and then just clean out all the guts and things inside there. Alrighty, so there's our four sections, and because these crabs are so big, I'm going to rip off the claw. So we're just going to have a body section and a claw section. Get it. So there's all our different sections of crab. We've got body section, claw section, and I'm just gonna keep that on ice for a little while. I'll do some other bits and pieces. I actually wanna have a wash as well, because we've been out crabbing, obviously, and doing this, we're a bit smelly, so I'm gonna have a bit of a dip in the ocean and clean off. Okay, feeling fresh, ready to go. This really is the world's best chili crab recipe, so make sure you give it a go at home. I've got the world's smallest table here as well, so we'll see how we go with that, but to make this base paste to start with, we are putting in six chilies. We've got four cloves of garlic as well. A couple of them are really small, so there's five there, but four cloves of garlic. And then we're gonna go in with an onion as well. Then we'll blend that up, and that will make our base paste. Okay, so we've got our base paste there, nicely all blended up, that's ready to go. I wouldn't normally do this, but it's a bit hard around the fire to sort of have a whole heap of different ingredients and putting it in. So I'm just gonna do this here into this bowl. So what we need is a cup of stock. So it'll be a bit easier putting all this sort of in now, chuck it into this bowl. And then when I wanna add this after, it'll just be ready to go. So we've got a cup of stock going in there. We're also gonna have a cup of, you're supposed to have passata, but when you're in the bush, you just use whatever you sort of can. So we're gonna put a cup of that in as well. We've got a tablespoon of soy sauce, which will be about that much. And a tablespoon also of rice wine vinegar, which will be about that much. Also need to put some sugar in as well. I have just found some sugar cubes, so that'll go into that mixture as well. And I'll just sort of give that a little bit of a stir so that when it comes to time to putting that into our pan in a little while, that I'll just put that whole dish in. It will be a little bit easier. You said, let me tell you Everything I've seen, the friends I've made, and then you tell me how you've been. Look a little closer, it's been quite some time. But you gotta let me know if I'm out of line. But there's some words that I just wanna say to put it on. 
I'll straight before this night turns into day And then I'm on my way Yes, I'm on my way We've gone the big camp oven, we don't have a wok here, so we'll see how this goes. We've got the fire nice and hot at the moment, oil in, which um, has got really hot too. So the base paste is going in. Base paste is going in. Whoa, jeez, we're cooking with fire here. Check the eyebrows and they all seem to be intact. We're going all right. All right, so the paste has been in for around about five minutes to just sort of cook through a little bit. Time for the crab to go in. I've, um, <coughs> that's, that's a strong scent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a bit of chili in that. I've hit the claws with a hammer as well, so that's just going to allow the juices and bits and pieces to get into the meat as well as it cooks through. You just want to sort of start to get a bit of colour on the crab claws and, and body and that sort of stuff, and you'll see the crab start to change colour. <laughs> All right, so the actual crab shell starting to change color. You can see it starting to go red. Once it gets like that, that's when you know you want to put in that next part. All right, so I've just transferred all those ingredients that were in that bowl before into my blender jug, so there's still a little bit of chili in and that sort of stuff, so I don't want to waste that. So that's going to go in now. give that a bit of a stir around and the fire is now reduced perfectly as well so you want a really high flame and high heat at the start and that's just burned off a little bit now so I'm gonna put the lid on that'll steam everything in there and that's gonna be for about 10 minutes with the lid on okay so it's been about 10 minutes just taking the lid off, I've just put some spring onion in as well, and just a little bit more salt as well, so the seasoning's gone through. I'm now putting in a little bit of corn flour with some water, so it's about one tablespoon of corn flour with one tablespoon of water, so that's going in. And it's really important at this time to um, just make sure you stir it, because otherwise that all sets in one place, so you've got to stir that around. Okay, now the last thing, that we're going to do is just put in an egg as well. So I've beaten that in this cup. Egg's going in, and that'll just make, um, again, the sauce a little bit thicker, but it just really um, goes through the mixture and makes it quite rich. <laughs> Normally, I just serve this up um, on a whole, you know, ream of newspaper, basically. Just put that all over the table, just eat it off that. Again, we're in the bush, we don't have a whole lot of stuff, so we're gonna put this into bowls. So I'm gonna serve up a couple of bits, but then we'll make sure we get some sauce in there as well. A couple of pieces in each bowl. Table there as well. And then we'll make sure we get some of that sauce in each bowl as well. I'm always interested to see how people tackle the crab because it's not always the cleanest thing to eat. Yummo. <laughs> He's very enthusiastic, this guy. I can confirm this recipe is a winner despite Nick's lackluster review. Thanks very much for watching. Remember to like the video and subscribe and we will see you in the next one.